Hello guys, this is Nick from HF Survival School. Thank you very much for joining me. So many of you told me that uh, this video is your favorite and many of you requested part two of this. So here it is, Living Off The Grid, part two. Hope you like it. As you guys can see the shelter is ready for the night, the only thing left to do is to put the sleeping pad and the sleeping bag and it will, it will be all ready to rock and roll for the night. The fireplace is also ready, only thing left to do is to start the fire. Now I got a little bit hungry and let's go hunting and uh, if we will be lucky enough we will harvest anything and we will cook it tonight over the fire. So guys, as you see, today I was able to harvest only one thrust, but that's okay, that's better than nothing. I'm now frying these uh, two eggs, which are of course from our uh, home chicken, that's why we have them. And uh, uh, today's uh, uh, part, the part of today's video was quite short, I didn't do that much, because uh, yesterday uh, when I came here, I came by a train and uh, it took me 10 hours to get here and I was only able to sleep two hours at night So I am quite tired and the only thing I am thinking about now is to uh, eat the food uh, Make my stomach full and then go to sleep and I'll promise tomorrow will be a much more uh, fun and uh, enjoyable day
So as you guys can see, both the eggs and the thrust is ready. I can't wait to eat. I of course again forgot my fork so I carved a small improvised fork. Man, if you have not tried this uh, countryside eggs, which are from home chicken, you don't know what you are missing because uh, the taste is just incredible. I mean, you really have to try to understand what I'm saying. Compared to what they sell in the shops, these eggs are amazing. Now I'll try the <coughs> thrust. Now I didn't show the uh, preparation and processing of this bird and if you uh, want to know how to process this kind of small birds, will it be thrust or quail or any that kind of uh, small sized uh, bird, uh, I have made a video about it in where details and please click the card and uh, check out that video. Let's start with the leg. Mm. Nice crunching. You can even eat the bones, it's not a problem. The fire is going down now and the smoke will be gone and that's when I will go to sleep. I have to say the thrust is uh, the thrust tastes really really good. Here's a pro tip, if it is really cold and uh, you want to get warm really fast uh, and if you have been burning your fireplace for the whole day and you have rocks around it, these rocks will have a lot of heat in it and you can uh, dig some small holes uh, or under the place where you are sleeping, you can put this hot rock uh, under your um, sleeping pad or will be tent or it doesn't matter and cover it with a thin layer of ground and that way uh, it will generate a lot of heat so that your uh, sleeping, bag, uh, sleeping bag will get warmer you will lose less energy and you will need less time to make the sleeping bag uh, warmer and that's why uh, you will be warmer generally the whole night so uh, that's a really good way to uh, get warm when it is really cold and if your uh, sleeping bag isn't rated for the uh, temperatures that you will be staying in now here let me show you over here I will be staying in my I don't know if you see it in my um, Teton Sports sleeping bag, which is rated for minus 5 Celsius, and I'm using the uh, Thermarest Redressed So Light sleeping pad. So, uh, I should have uh, more than enough heat to stay warm at night because it is uh, like um, maximum, it won't go uh, below than uh, 0 degrees Celsius at night, but because it is windy, it is quite um, cold. So I think that will be all for today. I will go now and sleep in bed and sleep because really I had two hours sleep in the train last night and it was like the whole day I'm, I'm like a walking zombie, you know. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. So now I'll finish the eating and then I will go to sleep. So see you guys tomorrow. morning everyone I have to tell that I enjoyed it very much I missed staying out in the outdoors um, very much and, I, and now I felt that because it is it was really good now at night it was really windy I mean the whole whole shelter was moving around even though it is secured pretty well and uh, then it uh, started to rain a little bit for like uh, half hour or 40 minutes it was a pretty heavy rain but uh, I got uh, I didn't got any wet 
I was dry after I slept and now it is like 12 o'clock in the morning I was planning to go duck hunting on the sunrise but I was so tired because yesterday I have not had not any sleep had not had any sleep that uh, uh, I just kept sleeping and now it is uh, 12 o'clock now uh, I don't know if you see it but it is raining a little bit more but uh, uh, until uh, it starts to rain heavily I want to make a few projects around the camp which will be a lot of fun and uh, then we can do the rest That's it, the chair is ready, now it would be better if I have made it a little bit wider because of my shoulders, but that's not a problem, it's still better than nothing. Now I want to make a pot hanger and we can start working on that. You guys might be interested in this tool which I was using earlier, this is a traditional tool here, I don't know if you guys have something similar over where you live, but we call it it's Aldi. Uh, it has a, a curved, uh, sharp uh, blade. As you see up here on top, it has. Uh, you may think that it is broken, but it is not. It is made on purpose like that. They also used it, use this, so that when they uh, hit the tree and they climb up the tree, so that uh, they can remove the unneeded branches. So everything has its purpose on this blade. As you see, the handle goes from the top, so it uh, doesn't have a, a split in the middle, and it is not jammed inside. It goes from the bottom, and this way there is no way that the head can come off.
first is this uh, hole maker. I think it is called auger. It is uh, like uh, really old, at least like almost 90, 80 years, I think. And what I can guarantee is the saw. It is at least 100 years old. As you see, it is a very interesting design. Uh, it has a small. Uh, it has holes in this middle part, in which these sticks go through, or only from one side because other side is uh, thick. On this thick piece, it has holes in which this piece of wood goes in and holds the blade. As you see, it is a really old blade. It is broken, it is not usable anymore, but uh, it is a great uh, vintage piece and, uh, and I think it is wrong to use this kind of tool. You know, maximum what you can do is restore it, which I don't think uh, we will do to this. As you see, it is a really interesting design and I thought I would, uh, I would share it with you guys because I have not seen this kind of design in any books or uh, any uh, videos and it is very interesting. So guys, as you see, the cornbread is ready. The uh, eggs are boiled, and now it's time to eat. Man, it feels great. So guys, sadly it is all for today. I wanted to film a lot of more stuff, but I was here for only three days. Even though I wanted to stay longer, uh, I uh, have some stuff to do back in the city. I have the university study and other stuff, uh, other boring stuff. Uh, but uh, I'm sure that I'll be back here. Now the previous video got about 1000 likes in about one year. So if this video gets 300 likes un until summer, I will film part 3 of this video and, and compare to winter, summer uh, or spring, late spring or early fall is uh, the season when we um, uh, plant the seeds, we, when we harvest the plants, harvest the fruits, harvest um, uh, nuts and it is a, a lot of interesting stuff to see and a lot of interesting stuff to learn. So if you want to see that please give this video a thumbs up and tell me in the comments below what do you think about it and what do you suggest for me to change in the next video. Uh, and if you want the next video or not. Thank you very much for watching and if you want to see uh, more videos by me subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, you help me very much by sharing this video on your social media. All of the important links will be down in the description so you should definitely check it out. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.